the major breaking news in the so-called Free Britney movement. Britney Spears' father, Jamie Spears, has agreed to step down as her conservator. The court-ordered arrangement has been ongoing for the past 13 years since the pop superstar had a very public meltdown back in 2008. But in the years since she has performed, earned hundreds of millions of dollars, and many online have questioned the conservatorship. The rumblings went from presumed online conspiracy chatter to blistering courtroom testimony when Britney Spears herself said that she wanted to press charges against her father and accused him of abuse. Kaylee Hartung joins us now in Los Angeles. Kaylee, this news, though, about her father agreeing to step down came really kind of out of nowhere. But, but to be clear, he does remain in charge tonight. Yeah, in a word, yes, Lindsay, but make no mistake, this is a big win for Team Britney here. Jamie Spears has been given no indication through the bombshell testimony that Britney Spears delivered in court, the accusations of conservatorship abuse that she leveled against him, how he demoralized her, embarrassed her through his operation of the conservatorship. He gave no indication until now that he was willing to step aside. And in this legal filing today, he's saying he will step aside, but with condition, let me read to you from it. This filing saying there are, in fact, no actual grounds for suspending or removing Mr. Spears as the conservator of the estate. And it is highly debatable whether a, char a change in conservator at this time would be in Miss Spears' best interest. Now, this filing, Lindsay, again, from Jamie Spears' attorney, goes on to say, nevertheless, even as Mr. Spears is the unremitting target of unjustified attacks, he does not believe that a public battle with his daughter over his continuing services or conservator would be in his best interest. So even though he must contest this unjustified justified petition for removal, Mr. Spears intends to work with the court and his daughter's new attorney to prepare for an orderly transition to a new conservator. So that's the condition there, Lindsay. Jamie Spears saying he will step down as conservator of the estate, the person overseeing Britney Spears' $60 million estate, but will work with the court to find someone to replace him. But that's an interesting way to frame it from Jamie Spears' side, Lindsay, because Britney Spears' attorney has already presented the court with an option, a very viable option, a CPA with a, a specialist in forensic accounting to take over this conservator of the estate job. But Jamie Spears is not going so far as to concede that that is the right move at this time. There is still a lot left to hash out here. But again, make no mistake, this is a big win for Team Britney to get her father out of his role as conservator of the estate. They just want it done as soon as possible. Right, a big win indeed. And how is Britney Spears' new attorney reacting to this major win? And what's next? Yeah, so what's next is still in question. Uh, there was a, a hearing that, that Britney's attorney had asked to be moved from December to September and then even earlier to August because, again, they wanted this process to get moving as quickly as possible, saying essentially that every day that Britney was still under the control of her father would be a further detriment to her. So it's unclear now that Jamie Spears has essentially stepped aside what happens next because the last filing from Britney's attorney was asking that before the next hearing that Jamie Spears would resign lest he have to pay his own attorney fees. Because remember, Britney Spears' estate has been paying every legal bill for Jamie Spears, including including about $500,000 for his, his PR strategy. So this was a move clearly intentional by Jamie Spears in reaction to the most recent filing by Britney Spears' new attorney. And, and keep in mind, Lindsay, when we say Britney Spears' new attorney, this is the attorney that she begged the court to let her hire herself. After that court-appointed attorney, Sam Ingham, had not fulfilled her wishes, as she believed, in the last 13 years, but in less than a month on the job, Matthew Rosengard, a former federal prosecutor, is doing work for Britney Spears. Lindsay. Yeah, getting accomplished what she desired. Kaylee Hartung, our thanks to you. And family law attorney Christopher Melcher, who recently represented Kanye West in his divorce, joins us once again to break all of this down. Uh, Chris, thank you so much for joining us. Jamie Spears, in a filing today, said he does not believe that a public battle with his daughter would be in her best interest. But if you read the fine print, he's still contesting what he calls the unjustified petition for his removal. So how long could it be before Britney Spears actually regains control of her finances? And is there a scenario where that doesn't happen? Well, thanks, Lindsay. Uh, Jamie is on his way out. I believe he knows that he's going to be removed, and now he's really trying to negotiate terms of surrender. So this wasn't an unqualified resignation. It was really a noisy withdrawal, saying that he would leave if the attorney's fees that he's racked up, $1.2 million in attorney's fees, 
uh, about 500,000 of which were, were there for crisis management and public relations to improve his own image. He wants the court to approve that or, or Brittany to agree to that. To me, that's improper because Jamie is not just the father. He's in a fiduciary role, so he has to serve her best interests, and he can't condition things on self-interested transactions like making sure his own attorney's fees are paid, and he knows that those are objected to. So I, I don't really buy his story that he's doing this to uh, avoid a conflict because Brittany's been trying to get rid of Jamie since November of last year, and it's only now that he's saying he would step aside. Now, Britney Spears' new attorney stated they will continue investigating the conduct of Mr. Spears and the money that he made while he was in charge of the conservatorship. In your opinion, is that just aimed at making him speed up the process of stepping down? Or, depending on what they find, could Jamie Spears actually be legally liable for his actions during the past 13 years? Well, uh, Brittany's going to go after her father one way or the other, whether uh, Jamie's removed now or later. That's coming. She's told us that in her uh, court statement that she wants to have him held accountable. And there are many irregular transactions that I've seen here that Jamie's going to have to explain, and he's held to a very high standard. Some of these have been approved by the court, and that'll be a defense that he'll raise. Others, though, are not so clear. So he has a lot of explaining to do, and Matthew Rosengart, the new attorney for Brittany, is holding him accountable, is holding his feet to the fire. And I think it would be best if Jamie just stepped aside and let the process go forward, because this is his daughter, and there is these medical team, according to the other conservator, Jody Montgomery, that say that every day that this is going on is harming Brittany, and that she should have her freedom. She should have the right to make decisions, good or bad, just like the rest of us do. And break this down for us. This conservatorship battle has made so many of us aware of these types of arrangements. How unusual was this case, and how often did they end with someone fighting to get out of it? This is a bizarre case. In 2008, the court didn't even give notice to Brittany. It, it, it was convinced somehow that uh, giving notice to Brittany of this conservatorship request by her father would cause harm to her. So they placed her under a temporary conservatorship without and then this, con this continued. There was never a capacity determination. No doctor has ever presented evidence or declarations saying that she's incapacitated. And she eventually capitulated to it because she was concerned about losing relationship with her children. And there's some court records that suggest that this was dangled in front of her, that if she went along with the conservatorship, that she wouldn't lose her children. It is heartbreaking. And if this can happen to Britney Spears, for 13 years, it can happen to anyone. And, it, and there are plenty of conservatorships out there, many, I'm sure, for the good of the person. But there are also ones that are abusive. And the people that are placed in charge of protecting can also be abusers. Christopher Melcher, always appreciate your insight. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks.